Hey, Jerome. I'm not feeling too good today. Do you think it'd be best if I went to the hospital for this? You're not feeling well? I'm sorry to hear that. And what's hurting or not feeling right? For some reason, I've been feeling pretty weak. I've had days where I feel sleepy, and, and I just don't have it in me to do anything. At first, I thought it was just to the atmospheric pressure changes and such. But I don't think it has anything to do with that anymore. If it were that, I'd at least still have a migraine right now, and everything, but now it's just a normal headache. <laughs> You're carrying a baby right now, so there'll be times where you feel fatigued. Make sure you eat a balanced meal enough for the two of you. But I've had pretty bad headaches as well. That's not going away. I'm just worried this could all be affecting the baby in some way. What do you think I should do, Jerome? Well, for starters, try sleeping a bit more. Notice that you stay up pretty late watching TV, so maybe you should just sleep in a bit. I've been sleeping a lot, though. I know that at times, I'm awake later than you. But I make sure to at least stay in bed until around 9 or 10 in the morning. Also, even though you're pregnant, you still act as though you can do whatever you want to yourself. I think that your body is a lot weaker by just having to carry another human. So maybe just stay home more often, instead of overdoing it by always being up and moving around. But I'm not overdoing it. And when I go out, I make sure to wear enough clothes to keep myself warm so that I won't catch anything like a cold. I may be in a skirt sometimes, but I make sure to wear thick leggings underneath. But I'm saying that just by being pregnant, your body will make you have to care for it more. Perhaps you should be taking things slower and keeping yourself very wrapped up. Even think about starting to drink warm water in the morning. Get your system to start up a bit better and be ready for the day. But I don't feel cold when I'm up and moving. I've always felt hot even when I'm not carrying a baby, so I'd like to at least cool off a little. Well, then maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Maybe that's what's causing you to feel bad. Maybe it's better that for the time being, you stay home and stop going out when it's cold. If you don't take care of yourself enough while pregnant, you're going to keep feeling sick. But I've been watching myself. I've been sleeping in as much as I can. I've been eating pretty well, and I've gone staying warm while I go out and about. Why do you seem to not understand me, Jerome? It's not that I don't understand you, but I'm just very busy with work right now and don't have the time to sit here going through every small thing that could be making you feel bad. Are you kidding me? I just wanted to let you know that I'm not doing too well and whether I should go to the doctors or not. Why would you say that you don't have time to answer that one thing for me? Well, if you really do feel bad enough, then go to the hospital and get it checked out. It's not like our insurance is going to go up from you seeing the doctors once, will it? I just wanted to make sure you actually felt that bad, though, before making such a big deal out of it. And you're an adult, too, so don't even feel that you have to ask me if you should go or not. If you don't feel good enough and are worried, just go. Jerome, recently you've been a bit harsh to me. Before you used to be so kind to me, yet now you seem to always be stressed about anything I do. What happened? Well, let me think. Hey, come on, tell me. Did I do something wrong? If I did anything to upset you recently, I want to know about it so that I can apologize to you. I hate having to sit and wait around, not knowing what's going on because you're too selfish and upset to tell me. You just asking that is a bit of a pain. Huh? Why though? I have no idea what you want. Tell me what's going on with you. Don't just sit there acting like an upset child. You already know that me carrying a baby is messing up my hormones, so you should try to understand that I can't control my emotions well enough anymore. I don't want to talk anymore. I'm getting pissed off just reading these texts from you. Do you think you could at least come with me to the hospital? I don't want to have to leave all by myself right now. Why would I go? Go there by yourself. You really want to get yourself out of the house all the time, so why is the hospital any different? Are you not worried about my health at all? Are you not even worried about your baby's health right now? Aren't you being a jerk right now? I'm not going to say it again. Why are you acting like this toward me right now, Jerome? Don't you see that the baby inside me right now is mine and yours? You're acting like it's not even your problem anymore. You think so? Say whatever you want, I guess. I don't have time for you to make a choice. We're going to become parents very soon. We're going to have to work together to make sure we raise our baby properly. 
So if you have something that's bothering you right now, you have to tell me so that we can make things right. If things keep going the way they are now between us, I'll feel so bad for the baby. You want to make things right? I don't think you're hearing what I have to say about you will make things right. Well, I do! How about today, when you get home, we discuss all of this in person. I want to make a time for us to just sit down and chat about this. And I promise that no matter what you tell me, I'll remain calm and work on making things better for our future. I'm not going to be home until later tonight, so that won't work. But recently you've always been coming home late night. I'm working overtime. Are you sure that you're actually working, though? You seemed a bit strange lately. I don't know. It's just like you're not the fun and vibrant Jerome I married. Ugh, think whatever you like about me. Either way, I'm busy right now, so you go run off to the hospital on your own. But I want you to come with me. Are you really just going to leave me with a cold shoulder? You're being rude by constantly texting me when I have a lot of work to get done. You're being the worst. And to think that I've been wanting to make a warm family for a baby when they come. Why the heck has this happened? I never once tried to hurt you so badly that you'd act this way towards me. After going to the hospital to get tested, I've been told that I needed to be admitted. They said for a little while, I'll have to remain here so that they can run even more tests and to watch and make sure that the baby remains okay. I knew that there was something bad going on with my body. Why couldn't you have just... Listen to me about it. Hmm? That's it? Well, just take things easy, I guess. At least you're at the hospital now, so that's a load off my back. Well, you could at least be a bit more worried about me. Acting like you're fine with what's happening is wrong. Why do you think it's okay to be careless with me? Why would I still need to worry about you? Is what's going on with you right now gonna kill you? Because if it is, then that's another thing, and I might think about coming. I don't think it's bad right now, but... But they are saying that they need me to stay in the hospital to keep their eyes on me. So that means I'm not doing as okay as they think. Especially when all the tests haven't been done yet. But I think you being in their hands now is a whole lot better. So is there a reason for me to still be worried about you? You have specialists right there with you that can worry for you. And if something serious does happen, they'll call me and let me know if it's worth worrying about as well. But if your wife's in the hospital, isn't it normal for you to come in and see her at least once? And I'm also pregnant at the moment with our baby, Jerome. Don't you feel anything at all for either one of us? Well, I suppose you could say we aren't just any old couple, though, Nancy. What? They're saying I have to be here for three days. Are you going to come and see me at all? I will not. What? So you're not even going to come in and see me? I won't be home for three days, Jerome. It's just three days, Jesus. You can make it three days by yourself, right? Come on, Jerome. There's no way you can have that kind of horrifying attitude about me. Me going to the hospital to see you won't change anything, right? I'm not even a doctor or anything. Who cares whether you are or not? That's not the problem I have right now. Do you even love me anymore? I wonder about that. Well, if I had to be blunt, I'd have to say that I don't really know anymore. Are you kidding me? Now I'm pissed. I'm going to talk with my mom about how laid back you're acting about this. Do whatever you'd like, Nancy. I'm sure even she won't be that upset. You think so, huh? My mom is not only really scary, but she also makes sure you understand when you're wrong. You better be ready when she comes for you. And I won't promise that I'll be behind you to calm her down. I heard all about you from my daughter. What the hell are you trying to do right now? Hello, Miranda. What all exactly did my wife end up telling you? She is crying right now. She told me that you're being a jerk and that you won't even come to see her in the hospital. Hmm? She's even crying now. She really has gone through a fit about all of this. You're the one that made her start to cry, you idiot. I feel really bad for her right now. You better get your butt to the hospital right now and see her. No, thank you. <laughs> Jerome, you'd better quit all this messing around bullcrap right now. 
If you can't take this serious, then I'm going to question your ability to be my daughter's husband and her baby's father. Well, then I'll just leave the two of them. I don't even want to understand what you just said. I'm saying if you don't like me here, then I'll be okay with divorcing her. Then I'll no longer have to impress you as her husband, right? What is wrong with you, Jerome? This can't possibly mean that you're doing something sly behind our backs, right? I've heard all about you over the past few weeks from Nancy. She says that you've been staying out late for work every day. Do you think that I'm cheating on her? Please don't say such needless crap! Then why have you changed all of a sudden and started treating my daughter like crap? Does this mean you have yourself a new lady friend that you've been spending time with? The other way around. The other way! I'm not the one that's been sly behind my back. The one doing that would be your daughter! And on top of that, she was able to keep it all a secret from you as well. What the hell are you talking about? Don't try and push all the blame onto Nancy now. I have a very good reason for never coming home early from work anymore. And I have someone I can cover for me. Someone to cover for you? I'll let you know something about her. Your daughter goes out quite a lot. Normally, I wouldn't question where my wife is going all the time, but... That's just her going out to hang with her friends and such. Then why would I have someone to cover for me on that? Do you really think your daughter has enough people to go out with and to always have dinner with all the time? What are you trying to say? Last month, your daughter and her friend went to a spa together. Do you know about that? I know she went out, yes. She was with one of her friends that she made in high school, right? And that's the thing. She should have gone with that friend to the spa and all. But that friend is in Europe right now. And they haven't been in the U.S. for the past three months. Huh? Also, ever since your daughter became pregnant, she's been going out more than before. When I'm at work or gonna get tasks done, she will sneak out. Don't you find that a little strange? How would you know that she's going out all the time when you're not home? I put a camera up in the house. A camera? I began to wonder when she was sneaking out of the house and where she planned on going. And that's why I began to look into things a bit closer. And what the hell has she been up to? Tomorrow I plan to come see you. If you're fine with that, me and you can talk about this together. Then we can go see what she's been up to together. Huh? Together? Your daughter has been going somewhere to meet someone every time she's out. If you're able to understand that for yourself, then you'll be able to sympathize with me on this. Mom, can you come and see me in the hospital today? Nobody has come to see me yet, and I'm getting lonely. Not even Jerome is planning to come see me today. Isn't he the worst? I think you're a lot worse than I am. Huh? Mom? This is you, right? This will be Jerome. Jerome? What? This is my mom's number, isn't it? It sure is. But there's no way you're calling me the worst right now. Why exactly are you trying to make yourself look like the victim? Why are you replying to me and not my mom? You shouldn't be using my mom's phone, right? Well, right now I'm with your mom. And just a second ago, her and I met with someone very important. Why would you and my mom be with one another right now? You guys never said anything to me about meeting up, especially when you haven't even come to see me yet, dear. I'd invited her out with me. Your mom was wondering if I was cheating on you or not, so I wanted to prove her wrong. And I also planned to show her what you've been doing, so I brought her out with me to give her the best evidence I had. Why are you acting like I've been doing something wrong? I haven't even done anything, Jerome. Don't try and play stupid with me. I don't get what you mean. And you're the one that's been messing with me, right? And now even I'm starting to think that you've been cheating on me. And what made you think that I've been the one cheating on you? Because you've been coming home late all the time! And you started to act like you don't love me anymore. The reason I've been making it home later is because I've been meeting with someone. And that's a woman you're meeting with, right? What kind of woman do you think I'll be meeting? The people that I've been meeting with have been my lawyer and an investigator. An investigator? I've only had time to meet them on my way home from work. So that's why I'd never be home until after 8pm. Why are you meeting with them? 
Well, that would be because I'm having them investigate you. What? In your case, you're always going out on your own, right? Where the hell have you been going? I told you every time that I'm going out to meet someone. But have you really been meeting those people that you tell me you're gonna see? The person that you told me you've been meeting me most isn't even in the U.S. anymore. Huh? Also, Nancy, you've been trying your best to hide when you go out, right? I've not been trying to hide anything! Ugh. Actually, I've had a camera in our house installed for the past few months. I knew of every time you left that house while I wasn't around. A camera? When did you happen to put one of those in? I then had my investigator go out and find out where he'd head off to all the time. And now, I know everything about you. You've been frequenting another man every time you go out. That's... He's just a casual friend. So you just take a casual male friend of yours to the hotel all the time around lunchtime. You know about that as well? I told you that I've looked into everything with you. No matter how you try and change the story, I have evidence. And I know that you have in fact been going out with another man. In other words, you've been cheating on me. Did you meet with him? Yep, I was just with him a second ago. When you went out with my mom? You seriously brought her with you to go meet him? You're a freaking disgrace of a daughter. Why the hell would you do something so vile? Mom? You have no right making yourself out as a victim when you've been the one cheating on your husband. And now I'm starting to really wonder if that baby inside you is really Jerome's or not. Stop that! This baby is Jerome's! Well, I've already heard more than enough from your secret man. No matter how you try to hide things from me and Jerome, we already had a whole breakdown of everything from him. The reason you started to feel unwell is because even though you've been pregnant, you go out with him and sleep together to pass the time. You're wrong, Mom. Please, listen to me. But first, can we all calm down a little? I'm not wrong about Diddly Squad. You even kept all of this hidden from your own mother. I had trusted everything you told me. And you made me look like a fool in front of Jerome with everything I yelled at him about. You've embarrassed me for the last time. That man and me have only been with each other for a little bit. And we plan to break things off here real soon. I never thought you'd both doubt me enough to look into it. And what do you think that means to us? Do you think you could finish things with him before the baby was born? What does that mean? You've been cheating on Jerome, and it doesn't matter how long you plan to do it for. I know that, but... I don't want to hear any more excuses out of you, Missy. You're going to have to pay for this now. And there's not a dang thing you can do about it. Are you not going to side with me on this, Mom? I don't even want to be around you anymore. Why not? Please, just listen to me, Mom! Siding with that jerk is not fair! Mom? Sorry about that, Nancy. I guess you'll have to talk with me again. Your mom has just told something you want to hear, and that's that she will no longer talk to you. And it seems that the man you were with has said goodbye to you as well. What did you guys talk about? Did you know that he's married as well? You're going to have to pay some major settlements, and I'm going to make sure to hand in all the evidence. He told me he had tried his best to hide this relation between you two, but his wife soon found out as well. That prick. Does he think he could just run away from me now? Well, he seemed like the kind of guy to do that to someone he had no feelings for. I honestly didn't think he'd be able to say goodbye that quickly. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna make sure you pay up for everything you've done this far. Wait, are you planning to leave me too? I've been planning on a divorce for a while now. And that's why you've been so cold to me? You knew that I was cheating on you? You know the reason why I was so cold to you. Why wouldn't I be that way after you hid all this from me? And even try to blame me? I was so dumb with you, and yet you still try to play dumb by having your mom get involved. What are we going to do about the baby? It seems like you still doubt it being your baby. I'm sure that this is your baby, Jerome. Well, if it does turn out to be mine, I'll take it. But I have a very good suspicion that this is in fact not mine. When I learned about how long you and that other guy have been sleeping together for, I knew I couldn't trust it. Well, once we get a test run on the baby, we'll know for sure, though. Are you sure? If it does turn out to be your baby, you'll take it? 
But if that does turn out to be the case, you're gonna have to pay child support. I'll make sure to not only get my settlement money from you, but that you continue to pay up every month for the baby. But if I do that, I won't have any money for myself. Well, this is on you, so there's nothing else you can do. No matter whose baby it even ends up being, you're still gonna be stuck paying a lot of money. That's the reward you asked for by cheating on me. If you understand that I don't have the money, though, why do you keep asking for me? I understand what you've done, and that's why I won't go easy on you. Literally, the moment I knew you'd been cheating on me, I made sure that I'd get my revenge. Please, don't say such scary things like that. Give me. I'm so looking forward to when you get out of that hospital. I'll have my lawyer get in touch with you, and the next time we meet, we can all have a wonderful discussion about all of this. You said you wanted to talk about this all in person, right? You should be happy I've agreed to. <laughs> After that, we immediately made sure to do a DNA test on her baby. Of course, that baby ended up not being mine in the end. Not only would she be paying the settlement I asked for, but she'd be stuck with that baby on her own. Luckily enough, she did end up paying everything I asked for in one payment, but that was only thanks to her borrowing a large amount of money from the bank and putting herself into a hole. Of course, she wouldn't be getting any help from the man that decided to help her make that baby either, so she was on her own for everything. Nancy was able to have a safe birth, but things would begin to get rough after that. Well, none of that has anything to do with me though, so her and I haven't talked to each other since. But there was one day that I got a text from my mom asking me if I knew where her daughter had gone. Apparently, she left with her baby and ran away to hide. And naturally, I had no idea where that idiot could have gone off to. So then, things between me and her mom had ended there. I'm sure that things ended up with Miranda having to care for the baby, while Nancy was never heard from again. Less until at least a month had passed, and there was some news about her on the TV. She had apparently ran away, out of state to go chase down that man she'd been sleeping with while married to me. She was able to find where he was living, and broke in, threatening him for leaving her to deal with me all by herself or something like that. In the end, though, it turns out that he was not that sane either about what happened and beat her senseless for breaking in before the police arrived and arrested them both. I'm sure her mom has heard the news of this, but I doubt she's ever going to bail her out of jail for what she'd done, and it would only be more of a pain having Nancy back at home. <laughs> As for me, I left the big city and moved into the countryside where I took over the work of my parents. I think life's much better now, having the comfort of nature and my family again. <laughs>